Hi everyone, my name is Bill Butler with Leading Edge Real Estate in the Melrose area. Thanks so much for watching How's the Market for January 2021. Happy New Year everybody. We got an action-packed show for you today, including forecasts for 2021. So let's take a look uh, at the economy real quick. Uh, if you take a look at um, the recession, definitely in some sort of a V-shaped recession here compared to the Great Recession that you'll see marked here in red. Um, we've got two projections here, one from the Fed uh, that's stating it's going to take about three years to get back to the pre-COVID levels of unemployment. Uh, Wall Street Journal Survey of Economists, they're thinking it's going to take a little bit longer, maybe about five years. Nonetheless, both of those projections are ahead of what the Great Recession was and that it took about 10 years to get out of that. Um, we're looking at, if the experts are correct here, about half that time. Uh, moving on to kind of uh, price appreciation. We're getting a lot of questions right now about, you know, our, what's gonna happen this year? Are things just gonna fall off or are we gonna see more record growth? Well, it's gonna be something kind of right in the middle, right in between. Um, if you take a look, uh, annual home price appreciation on the upper left. Six years leading up to the housing crash, um, we had real spikes there in 2004, 2005. And this is on a national level. Um, if you take a look at the last six years, much more tempered growth. Uh, moving over to months of inventory of homes for sale. So obviously the more inventory you have, uh, the lower, uh, the, the greater pressure that puts on prices. Higher supply, uh, maybe not as much demand, you're, uh, it's gonna put downward pressure on prices. Well, as you can see clearly compared to the recession, uh, we were up at uh, 12, almost 13 months worth of inventory, meaning it would, it would take over a year, 13 months, to sell off all the housing in the United States given none other uh, properties came on the market. Um, it would take over a year. Right now we're down at around three, three to four months for the entire state, uh, or the entire country. I can tell you right now in the greater Boston area, uh, that number for single family homes is one month or less. Um, if we take a look at the, the third box there, total home equity uh, cashed out, well, you can't even compare really back before the recession. Um, you had between 2005 and 2007, a total of $824 billion of home equity that had been cashed out, spent. Uh, the past three years, um, you're looking at basically uh, a third of that, uh, 247. There's just a lot more homes have equity, as you can see in the next box there. 58%, almost 60% of all homes have at least 60% equity in their home, meaning if they are in trouble, if they haven't been working for, a while, they, they're really having trouble with their mortgage payments, they're gonna be able to sell and pocket some money and go and find a rental uh, for the time being. Um, it's not the situation where we were in the recession where the people that lost their jobs, they didn't have any equity left in their house, they had to just let it go. Uh, there's just too much equity that's out there in, in everyone's homes. Looking at uh, the national map here, year over year equity gains. Um, if you can make it out way up there, uh, Massachusetts, we're in the dark blue. Uh, the average homeowner, year over year, uh, pocketed between twenty and thirty thousand dollars of equity last year. Uh, in the last video last month, we talked um, in the Melrose area, Wakefield, uh, Medford, um, Stoneham area. On average, single-family homes up ten percent. Um, taking a look at the forecast, now what are we expecting for uh, the next five years? Well, um, based upon the home, uh, the home price expectation survey, um, and this is a survey of a lot of different economists, um, if you were to invest in a $300,000 property uh, in January of this year, um, by 2026, uh, you will have netted uh, $54,000 of equity. Um, not huge spiked growth, but nice, even tempered measure growth over the next five years. Um, what is going to kind of tamper down uh, the value spikes? Well, obviously we're gonna start to see mortgage rates uh, continue to, uh, to inch up. 
Uh, not, not for the time being though. Um, all indications are that uh, mortgage rates are gonna stay uh, very low uh, for the time being, probably this year, who knows? I don't think anyone really knows for sure. Um, but that's what we're being told and, and that's why we're definitely expecting more of a seller's market here in 2021. Now, if you take a look at 2021 home price forecasts here uh, from all these different institutions here, uh, the bulk are looking at anywhere between four and 6%. This is on a national uh, scale as well. Boston uh, always paces ahead of the national numbers. So if they're expecting between four and six at the worst case scenario, 2% increase in values this year, uh, Boston area, uh, I think you'd be comfortable for single family homes um, looking in the four to 8% range, four to 8%, which is, it's gonna feel like kind of how it's felt the last eight years prior to last year, where uh, values really shot up at 10%. Um, it's going to feel a little more measured this year. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any uh, thoughts or, or questions about, you know, is selling right is a good time for me right now? Um, we'd love to sell. A lot of, we, we're helping out a lot of people who really want to sell, but they're scared to death that they're not going to be able to find anything to buy. And we're helping people out every day with that problem. If you have any questions or about that process, we'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks so much for watching. Happy New Year. This is gonna be, a, it's gonna be an epic year. I can just feel it. Um, a lot of exciting things happening with the vaccine. Uh, we really appreciate you and appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next month. Take care, bye-bye.